All right, here we are. Um, so this is the first video. I'm basically going to go over the format of what I'm going to be talking about and how this is going to all work so then everyone else will just become streamlined. Um, on the right, or excuse me, on the left is her art. On the right is her bio, which is from a Word document that I've been working on for a while. Um, that's going to be on the WordPress site. Um, I'll give you the link to that eventually. I mean, you'll get it probably when you have internet again. I don't know if there's like a hub where you can look at all the shit, but yeah. Um, that's a Word document. I'm going to be uploading that at some point. Um, I'm going to just read it straight, basically. I might paraphrase a little bit here and there. And then I'm going to just branch off, jump off from that. Uh, so this is Kelly Green, a very familiar face, I'm assuming. Uh, she's a curly, she's 15. She has Trace as her ability. Uh, she's calm and strong-willed. Her move set is Psychic, Magical Leaf, Teleport, and Draining Kiss. Uh, my characters tend to have five moves these days, so if you see like a whole fucking long-ass list of moves, then just roll with me. Um, she tends to be in house. Her classes are um, Environment, Health, Math, Language Arts, uh, FCS, Art, Battling, and Gym. Uh, she's five, so five foot six. Her date of birth is May 15th, and her blood type is A, and then that's her little pixel art right there. Uh, she's a very good girl. She can be a little stubborn, but only due to her strong heart and convictions. An eternal optimist. She can see the good in almost anything. A pretty good listener. Uh, she's the daughter of Hunter and Lowell Green, otherwise known as the Battling Duo Galatevoirs. She lives in south, south of Hartholm. I don't remember what route that is off the top of my head, but it's, the, it's that one. Uh, she traveled in front of Wendell. I'll go into that in a second. Uh, his dreams of being a professional battler, and she's an adult, and Clementine is just by way of adoption, obviously. Um, now, to go into a little bit about her parents, uh, this is another thing that the document has, is parents! Um, I'll kind of quickly read that, and then I'll get to that. Actually, I'll get to that in a second, but the big thing I wanted to highlight is uh, something I briefly touched on before, which would be her time before meeting Clementine, specifically her time in middle school. Uh, she went to school in Pastoria, and since she technically lived closer to there than Hart home, that's why she went there, uh, at that school she met Wendell. She, being her helpful self, wanted to try to befriend uh, Wendell. Uh, because she saw that he had no friends, and nobody really bothered with him. He was kind of bullied, and she thought that that was like lame <laughs> um and this unfortunately on top of her being like a little out of place in public school because she's the daughter of rich famous battlers uh she was a prime target for bullying but that didn't deter her from being friends with wendell either way and the two were like inseparable during their uh middle school years years or yeah years um, however, um, the two eventually had to part ways, uh, when Kelly went to a different high school, the high school at which she would meet Clementine. Um, their goodbye was highly emotional because, like, they were just such good friends. And, uh, that caused Kelly to forget something really major. <laughs> Asking for Wendell's cell phone number. Because, uh, remember, she didn't have a cell phone until she went to, uh, the high school where she met Clementine. So this was, like, probably, like, her first day of having it. So that wouldn't even cross her mind. Like, it would, but at the same time, like, you know, you kind of, you forgive her. Uh, that being said, the two have not had contact since then. Okay, now moving on to the parents. Uh, Hunter Green, uh, I guess I'll just start with that. Hunter Green, he's 40, he's a Gallade. Uh, he's uh, jolly and somewhat of a clown. He's very down-to-earth, easygoing, and pleasant. That being said, trouble tends to follow him from time to time. And obviously his kind personality is somewhat of a facade. He may be easy to pull one over on, but he's always earnest and puts his soul and heart into everything and anything that he does. <clears throat> Sorry. He's also very easily frightened. Sorry, my, my mouth is getting dry. I so hope you couldn't hear that. Okay, um... He's part of the battling duo uh, Galea Divorce with his wife. Uh, they met when they were 16. He has a younger sister named Rosita. I think that's how you're supposed to say that. Uh, she's a year younger than him. Uh, Hunter grew up without a father, so being a good dad to Kelly is his biggest and most important goal in his life, even above battling. And he's my character. Um, and then uh, Kelly's mom, Laurel, uh, her maiden name is Nobelis. Uh, she's 40 as well, and she's a uh, Gardevoir. She's calm and strong-willed. Uh, she's a well-mannered, kind woman. She's an exceptionally strong will and sense of right and wrong. She can be stern, but fair. She's also a touch on the serious side, especially compared to her husband. She's very intelligent, the cool, calm, collected type. She's part of the game, uh, battling duo, whatever. Uh, she's the only child of the Nobelis family who own a very major real estate company. She's not spoken to them since she was 16 due to want to pursuing battling against their wishes. Uh, she's a childhood friend of Cassandra. 
that the two have not spoken in about a decade. Cassandra is Alessia's mom. Now, if that's making you, like, froth at the mouth, like, hold. <laughs> we'll get to that. Um, so, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about Laurel and uh, Hunter and them. Um, Laurel and Hunter meant... Sorry, my tongue is, like, dry. What the fuck? Okay. I don't know why my tongue is so dry. Hunter and Laurel met during their time at a trading dojo run by a former champion battler. Hunter and Laurel became fast friends and then began to date. Laurel was keeping her hobby hidden from her parents because they didn't want her doing anything that wasn't, you know, going to, um, like, pursue her career to take over the company one day. That's basically all they wanted her to do, and she didn't want any of it. Uh, no one knew about her training. In fact, her best friend didn't even know. Her best friend, Cassandra. About Laurel and Cassandra, their friend dynamic is a little interesting, to say the least. I'll talk more about that in Alicia's video, where I'm going to go talk about her parents. Because um, the relationship's kind of interesting, kind of shaky, um, if only due to Cassandra's very unpredictable nature, back then and now. Um, that being said, however, eventually Cassandra was told about, you know, Laurel's little hobby, uh, but she didn't take the news very well, and she retaliated by telling Laurel's parents. She was then trapped inside her house for two weeks, like, grounded and, like, house, uh, like, under house arrest, basically, until escaping and going to Hunter's home. At this point, Laurel's parents disowned her, and she stayed with Hunter and his family, his mom and his sister, until her and Hunter moved out on their own. That all being said, that wouldn't be the last time Laurel and Hunter, <coughs> or today, Laurel and Cassandra spoke. There was one other occasion, which I'll kind of go into more detail about um, in the other one. But for, for now, I'll say that uh, Kelly was about four when this happened. Uh, Brontez, which is uh, Alicia's dad, had reached out to uh, Laurel and Hunter because they needed support. They were going through something really deeply personal and they, they needed a friend and they didn't really have any friends. So um, the two couple or the couples met up and it just ended in a big explosive fight. And the two haven't talked since then. Uh, whew, okay, that all being said. Uh, okay, so this is basically where it's over. Uh, I would take questions here, but I, I can't really answer them. Um, this is... Uh, this might be where I ramble, but this is, I've basically said all I've needed to say, um, about this character, and now I'll go and make another video. So, okay, good. First one down. <laughs>